Hi, my name is Eva. And I'm Sam. And welcome to the episode for January 11, 2018. Bus passes. If your child plans on riding a bus other than their own, they must bring a handwritten note to the guidance office before noon that day. Please note, due to the number of students riding various buses, some buses are not open to guest riders. Monte Carlo night is February 23, 2019. Please join us for another wonderful night of fun and fundraising. Visit the GMS homepage to get details on how to get your tickets. Get your Kroger Rewards cards today. Information can be found on GMS homepage. Help the PTO raise money for some new and upcoming events that are, coming, that are quickly approaching. If you are dropping off or picking up your student, please do not do so on Stop 18. The only alternative is to meet them in Freedom Park. Students may use the walking path to meet you there. If you are picking up your student during school hours, then you can pick them up in the bus lot. Now to Emma with the interview of the week. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Higdon for our weekly interview. So how are you today? Good, how are you, Emma? Good. Um, why did you choose to be a language arts and reading teacher? Well, I was originally going to be an elementary school teacher, but then about halfway through college I realized I probably want to do middle school more. I had a really awesome writing class, and I've always loved reading, so I figured reading and writing was probably a good choice for me. Nice. And how did you know that you wanted to be a teacher? Uh, my mom was a teacher and my dad was a basketball coach, so I just knew teaching was probably what I wanted to do. I never really had any other options. So. <laughs> And if you could only eat one other food for the rest of your life, which would it be? Hmm. I'd probably have to go with steak. <clears throat> you can never go wrong with steak. Can't. And if you were not a teacher, what career path would you have chosen? <clears throat> well, my dad ran the juvenile back in the day, so I'd probably have to say something with law enforcement, maybe like probation officer or something like that. Okay, nice. This has been our interview for the week, so we'll see you next week. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eleanor Guype, and this is the weather for next week. The weather for next week, highs will be in the 40s and lows will be in the 30s and 20s. There's a high chance of rain on Wednesday and Thursday. Wind speeds will be in the 11 to 7 mile per hour range. With school back in session, make sure you get those grades up. Now back to the studio. Thanks for watching this week's episode of JMS News. I'm Eva. And I'm Sam. Please visit our website and our YouTube channel to submit show ideas, suggestions, or anything else. Also, be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming live streams of GMS events. Have a great day.